Let me begin by applauding the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, ASPE, for its initiative in establishing this Sydney Dialogue and for giving a home to what promises to be the world's premier annual summit on emerging critical and cyber technologies and their strategic significance. I want to particularly recognise the leadership and stewardship of Peter Jennings, ASPE's Executive Director since 2012. As we all know, technological change has helped deliver enormous human progress in better health, longer life expectancy, wider learning, more leisure and greater prosperity. Yet experience has also taught us that it brings new challenges, unanticipated consequences and enhanced risks. Our time of rapid technological change is no different. It corresponds with profound global challenges from the immediate threats posed by COVID-19 and related economic disruption to climate change and geostrategic competition. Technology is at the centre of how we now respond to all of these challenges. The simple fact is that nations at the leading edge of technology have greater economic, political and military power, and in turn, greater capacity to influence the norms and values that will shape technological development in the years to come. Nowhere is this more powerfully illustrated than in our region, the Indo-Pacific region, the world's strategic centre of gravity. So this inaugural Sydney Dialogue is very timely. Australia knows that our future security and prosperity depends on us being part of the technological revolution shaping the world. And I'm confident this dialogue will spur new ideas, create closer partnerships and deepen our shared understanding of the opportunities and challenges of critical emerging and cyber-enabled technologies. It's why the Australian government is pleased to partner with ASPE in bringing together in this for virtual format the best strategic thinkers on what's at stake in the years ahead. Partnerships matter. Australians recognise instinctively that to remain an open, free, sovereign and prosperous nation, we need strong and durable partnerships now more than ever. In September, I announced alongside President Biden and Prime Minister Johnson, the new AUKUS Enhanced Trilateral Security Partnership. This is a partnership based fundamentally on trusts and shared interests. A partnership where, guided by our enduring ideals and shared commitment to an international rules-based order, the democratic freedoms, we have resolved to deepen our diplomatic security and defence cooperation in the Indo-Pacific. 